Hello everyone, welcome to this webinar on configuring SMS text messaging for MedTech32. Before a practice can use the MedTech SMS service, it is necessary to contact MedTech to organise the SMS contract. Please contact the sales team on 0800 26 or email sales at medtechglobal.com. The SMS text message service can receive replies from patients and write responses back into the system, but this needs to be enabled on the SMS server. Please advise the sales team whether you require the reply service to be enabled. There is no separate charge for this. Once the contract has been agreed, MedTech will issue the practice with credentials, allowing the practice system to connect to the SMS server. It is highly recommended that you do this setup on the MedTech server, as the MedTech service controls the text messaging. If you do not have access to your server, you may continue with the setup from any other machine, but you may have to contact your technician to restart the MedTech service if your text messages are not being sent. Now let's get started. If you do have access to your server, the first thing we will do is restart the MedTech service. To do this, click on the Windows Start button and type Services into the Search Program and Files. Press Enter and then your Component Services window will open. Double click on Services Local and you'll get a list of services. You need to scroll down until you find the MedTech service. You'll have an option of Restart, Stop or Start. Because my service has already started, I only need to restart the service. Once we have finished that restart, we'll then close the component services window. If you're going to use appointment book reminders, it is important that you set up your appointment template before configuring the services. So to do this, we go to Setup, In Outbox, and Outbox Document. From here, we need to set up a new one, so we'll click on Add a New Document. In this case, I will just give mine a code of SMS, but you can set up one for SMS, APT for appointment. If you want to do one for a recall, you can set up a special document just for that. You can set up as many SMS documents as you wish. So we'll give this a description. I'm going to put this into my Documents folder. And it's now very important to remember you must change the format from text to SMS. Once you have done that, you can then click on your Document tab. And from here, you can enter free text or use insert fields up to 156 characters, including spaces. So if I just go ahead and set one up for you here, so we can just go Hi and insert the patient's preferred name. Then we can type your appointment is at. Now we need to insert the patient appointment date time. And this is important to have this entered because it will pick up the information from your appointment book. Then you can carry on typing the rest of your message. Once you're happy with what you've got, you click on OK, close your document designer, and now we can go ahead with completing our setup. So to do this, we then need to go to Manage My Health, SMS Text Message Service, and Setup. So from here, we need to make sure we have a tick in Activate Manage My Health SMS for this practice. We also have an option of Do Not Send SMS Between, and you can configure a time. In my instance, I've got between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. This is because we don't want messages going out to our patients during the night. 
If you're going to use appointment book reminders, you need to create a time for your first appointment reminder. And normally this is 24 hours before the patient's appointment time. However, you can change it to whatever suits your practice. You can also have a second appointment reminder time if you wish, but this isn't mandatory. If you're not going to use appointment book reminders, just make sure these two fields are unchecked. If you use the queue, you can also have reminders for your appointments in your queue by ticking this checkbox. You can also send out messages via Query Builder. So once you've got this option ticked here, Query Builder, it will then modify the Query Builder screen and give you an option to run SMS query, but it will only be enabled if you have this option ticked. Patient Palette, so this allows you to send real-time messages for individual patients. Maybe a patient has left something at the practice and you need to get hold of them. And once this has been ticked, it will create another icon that will be available on your toolbar. If you tick the Recall option, this allows you to send recalls out to patients via SMS. We have a connection setting down here, so once you have received your credentials, you will enter in your practice ID and the username and password that we have sent to you. The proxy tab, if your practice has a proxy server set up, you'll need to enter the relevant information. If you're not sure if you have this set up, you will need to contact your IT technician. The next tab is the staff setup tab. So if you're not using appointment reminders, you do not have to enter a template and you do not need to put a tick next to your providers in the staff setup. However, if you are going to use appointment reminders, you will need to select the appointment template that we've just created and you need to put a tick in the provider's names and appointment reminder. So this will only be for providers or service providers that have an appointment book. Appointment queue, so if you use queue and want to send reminders, you will choose the necessary template and also put ticks next to the providers. Patient palette, so any staff member, regardless of if they have an appointment book or not, can send SMS messages from the patient palette. You just need to select which staff members you would like to have this function. And it's the same with Query Builder and Recalls as well. We also have an Audit tab. So we click on this and we can click on Audit Log. And this will tell us any changes that have been made in the practice setup or the staff setup of the text message service, so it will give you date, time, staff member and what was changed. If we just click on OK, this will close that. Also if the tab is blue, that will tell you if any changes have been made. Once you're happy with your setup, you can then click OK and you must exit MedTech for these changes to take effect. That concludes our webinar on configuring SMS text message service for MedTech 32. If you have any queries or require further information, please contact us on 0800 2633 832. Thank you.